From public officials to private citizens, Americans across the country continue to thank those who are putting themselves on the front lines of the pandemic, caring for those with COVID-19. One fashion blogger is taking it to the next level and is pampering frontline heroes in a new series called Caregiver Makeover with Brandy. Here to talk about the series is the fashion blogger and stylist herself, Brandy Hill. Thank you so much for joining us. Good morning, Stephanie. How are you? I'm great. Thank <laughs> you. So Americans continue to thank healthcare workers caring for COVID-19 patients, especially as we have seen a slight uptick in the past few days. But you're taking it a step further with this new series. What inspired you to launch this initiative? So, you know, it sounded like a fun thing to do. All of these individuals are putting so much time and effort um, into caring for patients and they're being away from their families. And we thought this would be a great way to be able to pamper them and just be able to show them a little more love because so much people. How do you find and select healthcare workers for your series and what does a typical makeover consist of? Yeah, absolutely. So we're actually connecting with nursing homes um, all over the country. Um, we're running a campaign called I Am Loved. Um, and we go into these nursing homes and we find someone special um, who is an amazing person and we do this makeover for them. In one of the videos, you highlight Ashley Lancaster, who is a nurse at a Colorado senior living facility that had more than 80 COVID-19 cases this year. Talk about that experience when you gave her a makeover. That experience was incredible. Um, you can just tell that she does so much for people and she doesn't do a lot for herself. So it's been incredible just to be able to have some time with her. We went to Target, we had a $500 gift card, um, we did some shopping and it was amazing just to be able to make her feel amazing about herself. Um, and at the end of the makeover, she just almost had like a completely different transformation. Um, she looked amazing, she felt amazing, um, and it was incredible to be able to help her um, and just show her that she is loved. And even though she is putting so much effort into others um, and giving care to other people, she needs to be loved as well. Absolutely, and it's especially seeing the smile on her face. Now, let me ask you for how, is this a nationwide initiative? Are you going, how are you selecting candidates? So, like I said, we're going all over the country. Um, we're meeting caregivers from nursing homes, from hospitals, from all over. Um, and we're just selecting, you know, caregivers that feel like they need a little more help. Um, and not even just that, but just a little more love um, because they're doing so much for others. And where can our viewers go to learn more about your series and initiative? Yeah, absolutely. Um, you can find us on Facebook, uh, facebook.com backslash Eden Life Care. Brandy Hill, thank you so much again for your time and what a great thing that you're doing. Very inspirational, thank you so much. Thanks, Stephanie. Have a great day. Thank you, you too. Want to see more videos like this? Click on the link below and subscribe to One American News on YouTube and call your cable provider and kindly demand that One American News is added to your lineup. Call and subscribe today.